T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978 reviewing Transformers Generations Cyber Battalion Shockwave. Before we get all the way started though, I forgot to give Matt Partformer a shout out for, for acquiring this guy for me. He bought it on Amazon and I was able to just pay him for it. Thank you, Matt. And thank you, retail price on Amazon. Every so often they come on there randomly at retail price. Anywho, you see it's 10 steps. This is who's on the bottom. It's supposed to be Sideswipe. That's a Prowl remold. I've never seen Sideswipe remolded from Prowl. But here's all the instructions right there. If you want to pause and look at that even though I'm going to be showing you in the middle of this video nothing over here and just that on the top here's the barcode if this will help you at all I only see these at Walgreens I've reviewed a couple of these but I haven't opened one on camera I mean I haven't opened one period it comes in this box with these ties on it weirdly it has no window but they have this plastic right here <laughs> that could have been on the box to display this dude so that's that's weird as hell Okay, as cool as this guy looked when I was taking him out of the box, when I was showing him to you guys in the box, and he still looks cool now, I have some bad news for y'all. <laughs> Wait till I get to it. I mean, this paint-wise and sculpting-wise looks way better than Optimus and that Jetfire that I reviewed a while ago. But this is definitely for kids. It's like if rescue bots are for ages 3 to 4, five or three to six these are for ages maybe four to seven the sculpting and paint definitely look good he looks awesome like i haven't seen a generation shockwave that nah nah I'm, I'm lying i'm gonna bring this guy out later to compare him to and he he, he does look good in his robot mode but let's get into articulate well no let me show you the details they put paint up here. This is painted right there. They painted the face or the eye yellow with the black around it, as you can see. This is paint. That's painted. That's paint. It has a ton of paint all over, as you can see. But it is very paper thin. And this is all hollow right there. But they do have some sculpting back here. It almost looks like that's where you would put batteries it's weird they put some battery detail back there but if you want them to have wings this is what he would look like with wings well let's get into the articulation and to where the heartbreaking stuff comes in now to put you in the right mind frame if you are buying one of these i said this in my other video this is like a gift shop type transformer like it's something if you're in the hospital sick, you would just find in a in a hospital. It's a real transformer. It's cool, but it's not to the next level cool like you would get with a real deluxe or Voyager class. The head rotates, and let me see if you cheat a little bit. He can look up. Can't really look down. The arms rotate this far before bumping, and that far back before bumping into the kibble. It goes out it rotates here well you use that same joint to make the arm rotate this way but you got that hollowness this can come in that arm is the exact same no waste leg goes out that far kicks forward that far kicks back it has a cool transformation thing that I noticed that I was shocked by I couldn't understand it at first this swivels the feet goes down and you'll notice that I didn't Bend at the knee. There are no knees. Ah, uh, why? I mean, I know they want to simplify the things, but if they would have put a ball joint there, this thing could have had knees. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, uh. and just like the other two that I reviewed, it has no bicep swivel. Once again, if this was a ball joint. But I guess that would make the transformation really loose and flimsy over time. And I guess they don't they don't want to do that to kids. But the feet are permanently in a ankle pivot stance. And you can rotate the legs to look however you want to look. 
and luckily the head can rotate because I don't believe Optimus's head rotates. Here he is next to Combiner Wars Legend Slash Shockwave right there. This guy retailed at $10 and this retails for a dollar cheaper than a deluxe, but it's bigger than a deluxe. Let me bring a deluxe out here. Now, deluxes are a dollar more, but they have way, way more engineering. And the fun thing about this guy is he has the ball joints that I was mentioning. So the legs can still, no, that's not a, that's a hinge, but it does have thigh swivel right here and a ball joint and the hips and the ball joint and the elbows. If they would have gave it a ball joint and the elbows, he could do all this stuff, but they didn't. They decided to go with mustard pegs. But anywho, while I have y'all captive, let's bring out my masterpiece shockwave right here, who is significantly taller and way more engineered as he should be. Let's jump right into transformation before I give any type of final thoughts on this guy. What you want to do is rotate the wings out this way. They have a soft little locking point. This one locks a little bit more than this one. Lift the arms up like this and the elbow needs to groove into that slot right there. I mean, it's a natural grooving point. It doesn't lock. I wish it locked. Push this in. Push that in. Okay, there's a soft little grooving point right there that keeps the arms like this. Now we need to grab this and rock it forward. It kind of pegs, this pegs into the back really tightly. So you have to use a little bit of force. Bring that forward, rotate the head around, and now rotate this. On the packaging, I thought that was his face. I was thinking that's lazy. Rotate the legs this way and bring the foot. The foot feet don't click like this. I wish they click like this clicks right here. That clicks securely. It takes some effort, I'm gonna be honest, to get that out of there. And I think kids will probably have a problem with that because they didn't put anything for you to, to grab. So as much as they made this for kids, they didn't think about that. Now we tab these together. And when you do that, it's a locking point right there because plastic goes up under the hips. Now grab these and this transformation borrows from Titans Returns uh, figures like Astro Train and what's his name? Orion, I mean Alpha Triumph. So basically what you're left with is something that's supposed to be like a gunship or a futuristic or just alien spaceship right there. It has this molding right there, and you see even more paint that I didn't show off right here. And there's one thing I didn't show off. Let's open this back up. There's a landing gear here. So, as you can see, that landing gear is optional, and to show you definitely these groove in between that. But, it has a landing gear. So, let's land him onto my table so he can be flat but it is what it is this mode isn't spectacular they gave all the love to shockwave and then they threw an alternate mode on top of it and said what the heck can we make him turn into that's not a handgun because shockwave originally turned into like a little laser pistol but it's cool it's decent this is definitely a toy that I wouldn't mind letting a child play with. I'll keep this around just in case somebody brings some kids around and they see me with all my extravagant toys. This is something I wouldn't mind letting them play with. But not saying that they couldn't break it because these legs are pretty friggin' hollow feeling. So if they sat on it or did something really crazy, or if they, they tried, they could break it, but... I wouldn't mind them messing around with this. And like the transformation is simple minus pushing these, or it's simple for an adult, definitely. So if your child needs you to transform it, you should be able to do all this simply. You're welcome.
any parents watching this for their kids. Daniel, he's cool. He definitely looks good in robot mode. I wish he had more articulation like in the knees and whatnot for myself. But for a child, which this is aimed for, this is actually perfect. So I, I can't give it a too bad a rating. So it's good for a kid. Let's just say that. Not for an adult collector. Anywho, if you like this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know by clicking the like buttons. Let me know by subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, T-Man 970 out of here. Thank you for watching. Click, click the videos, click the f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click those f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos.